Good morning, everybody. This is Paula Ward, aka Tutu Fit Mama. And it's early. I know I don't get up this early, but um, today is about motivation and inspiration and somebody yelling at me to get out of bed. So today, I didn't go to bed till 12 o'clock. Apparently, the French ministry steps up the base on Thursday nights. I can only imagine what the next two nights are um, about. So I had trouble getting to sleep. So I might have fallen asleep about 12.30. And hello, Sarah. I know you're up with me. And I woke up at 4.30, I get up and I thought I was going to literally throw up. So I laid back down. And my sister, who is obviously not here, she is back in Marshfield, said, get your ass out of bed and do it for me because I can't be there. So I said, all right, I'll do it. And then I knew there was one girl in there who I didn't end up seeing, Sayla, she had been up for 24 hours. So if they all can do it, and my sister was up working out at the same time with me, and I can do it, and I sucked it up, and I'm here. And I have to say, one thing about the power of 2,000 people behind you, pushing you to do a workout, um, awesome music behind you, pushing you to move your ass. Um, basically, I'm awake now, and I feel better, and I'm glad I did it. I could have gone back to bed. And these are choices we make in our fitness all the time. In general, you guys know I am not a morning person. I am someone who will work out at nine o'clock at night rather than get up this early. Um, but you know, I don't do this every year and I don't see these people every year. And you, there are people here with babies on them. There are people here that are pregnant. There are people here in wheelchairs. There are people here with more excuses than me for not getting up at 4.30 in the morning. So I can do it for three days out of the week and be inspired and motivated by people around me to keep moving my butt every day. So that is my thoughts. Um, today was like an MMA pumping music. Um, Joel Freeman and Jericho Matthews, um, they have great music and it was probably the one thing that kept me going. Today was punching things, so it was MMA, which I love. Um, I haven't been able to do for a while and so I'm, I'm glad I got up. So you always regret. You never regret what the workout you don't do. I don't even know how it goes. I'm so tired. But once you do it, I never said, God, I wish I'd stayed in bed right now. Maybe if I'd thrown up, I would have regretted it. But no, I do not. Well, I got options for you, Miss Sherry. You don't have to get up and get go to the gym. That's one thing that makes it easy. Um, this is unusual for me to actually get up and go work out. A lot of times I'm at home because I don't because I lose that motivation and having to get up, get dressed, get in the car. Um, and I could have lost that today, but like I said, I knew I had four people waiting there for me. I met a friend from Denver, a um, farmer that I don't, I never see and sometimes only see once a year. So I was so excited to get to meet and talk with him. Um, so there were so many things along the way that kind of pushed me to get to my workout. And then I, the 30 minutes that I worked out with um, my friend, thank you so much. And even the people around us, everybody never met each other, high five each other to keep us going. So. That's my thoughts for today. Um, sometimes, the one thing I did today was I reached out to my sister because I knew she told me to get my ass out of bed. And it, and it worked, so, and from there on, it was just people keep pushing me. So, find that person to push you, to tell you to move, not to sleep in, not be lazy. And it is true, Sherry. Um, and just get out of bed and do it. So, have a great day. This is Paula Ward, AKA Tutu Fit Mama. I'm out. Tomorrow I will be coming to you with 25,000 people on the streets by the Superdome in Louisiana and I'm bringing my son. So I'm very excited for Peter to witness the power of people, the power of change, and the power of fitness and how all of us come together to basically support each other and hopefully we don't pass out on the sidewalk. You may see me in the news. I don't know. So have a great morning everybody. Paul Ward, out.